bright sunshine just before the start of the race. Audi and Toyota as competitors, but part of the FIA WEC family. Rob Lutman and Dr. Wolfgang Ulrich there. Lots of emotion on the grid. Sheikh Salman making sure that Audi are well remembered from the circuit side as well. From our side, thank you for everything. Very emotional radio message from Eduardo Freitas before the lights went out. Paul Sitter, the number eight car, with Lloyd Duval at the wheel, heading down towards the first corner. All kinds of stacking up going behind in LMP2, which saw Alex Lynn drop down from third to sixth or seventh in the number 44 manor. Pretty tight at the start of GT as well, with the Ferrari going through and passing both of the Aston Martins early on. The action was fast and furious at the front of the field. Toyota and Audi swapping places, the six car going inside Marcel Fesler and making that one stick and almost running into the back of the number one Porsche as well with Timo Bernard on board. That place change wouldn't last very long. Marcel Fesler teeing up the Toyota using his hybrid energy wisely down into the first corner. Went on for a little while, but Fesla got through past the Toyotas, past the Porsches, and then in the second position in GTE up. Brilliant first in by Ben Parker. They're going up into second position in class as Fesla started the fight with Timo Bernard. Timo using his hybrid energy boost to take back the position for a moment. Two ESMs have provided entertainment as well in different colours. The 31 with people, Durrani at the wheel getting the best of that exchange. And meanwhile, if you want action, go back to Fesla. Round the outside at turn four. Very nicely done, sir. And Dr Ulrich appreciative. Mark Webber contemplating his last drive. Fesla having dealt with the number one Porsche. Much easier going past Neil Janney. I think Janney gave him that. Janney struggling at that point with front tyres that didn't want to put the car where Neil wanted to put it. Two Toyotas changing positions there in traffic. And then a potentially dramatic moment for Porsche. The KCMG car blending across to the right hand side and hitting the right rear of the driver's champion leading number two. Porsche, which had to come back into the pits with damage on the left rear of the car. And the 78 car has had a black and white flag for that contact now, so that is a warning. Great GT action with uh, Ferrari and Aston Martin swapping places after that great start from the Ferrari. And indeed, both Aston Martins getting back ahead of the Ferrari at that point in the race.